Lopini, I know it's really difficult to find any silver linings after a loss like this, but I know some people were really impressed with the way that you ran the ball today and the way that you responded after USF kind of changed things around the second half. Ultimately, where did this team come up short today in spite of your very, very tough play? Um, I think, uh, just like you said, I think us as a whole, like our whole unit, our team, we just we just came up short. We weren't we weren't executing on our end. I had personal mistakes that, you know, that's what that's what's on my mind at this time is just what could I have done to, to change the game just a little bit more, you know, in, in games like this where it's so close. I think it's just it's just tough because you, you think about those little things you did and, and that's all that's on my mind is just my little mistakes I made and how that might have changed the game. Not all losses are created equally and correct me if I'm wrong, but this one feels like a game that BYU should have won in position up by double figures and it slips away again. So how do you handle a loss like that and, and not let it kind of fold in on itself and have the season ultimately keep going downhill? Yeah, I think uh, ideally we obviously want to let that just, just spark something inside of us and, and allow us to to practice with more fire and, and come out on Saturdays and, and execute. We practiced hard. We had a great week of practice, but it just uh, we just kind of put it together um, on game day. And so I think, uh, unfortunately, we've had a few weeks in a row where we just haven't let that, you know, let that spark it enough. And whatever the reason may be, we'll figure it out because I trust in this team. I trust in our work ethic. I know we're going to get it right. What needs to change in the red zone specifically? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I know that we need, as players, we got to make plays. Like, we can't be satisfied with, with driving the field. Uh, we could have, this could have been a whole different result if we would have executed in the red zone. That's no secret. And so, whatever it, whatever it is, we'll watch the film and, and we're going to clean it up. How long does it typically take for you to process a disappointment like this and, and be able to move on and, and get going? Uh, the good thing about uh, here at BYU is they kind of give us, you know, Sundays to recover. and. And those days are special to me because I get to, you know, recover, regroup, go see my family, remember the things that are important. And then Monday, it's the, the game's in the past, and uh, it's just fire. And, and, you know, it's there. We can learn from it, but it can't hold us back. By Monday, we're going to be working, and, and we'll get ready for our next game. Who's the leader on this team among your teammates that's stepping up and, and taking that leadership role to try and right this ship now after something like this? Uh, there's a group of guys. That's the great thing about this team is that, um, there's not just like one or two leaders that, you know, are doing it all. Everybody understands that they have the capacity to lead, and, and I feel it from, from everybody. You know, the whole line, I feel it from them. I feel the pain. I feel like they're, they're stepping up and, and trying to get everybody up. Uh, same with the, the quarterbacks, the skilled players. It's a, it's a group, like a team full of leaders is what I feel. Boise State coming up a week from tonight. Uh, assuming they beat Hawaii tonight, they'll be ranked in the top 15 and undefeated coming to Provo. What's the number one thing that needs to change for BYU to return to the team that beat a ranked USC team a few weeks ago and not show up like the team that did in Tampa today? Yeah, exactly. You said it uh, just right. We got to show up and be who we can be. We all know that we can we can hang with the best athletes in the country. We showed it against SC. We showed it against Tennessee. And for whatever reason, just these, I don't know, if we're just not getting up for the, the smaller schools or whatever that may be, but if we need that extra kick in the butt, like we're going to have it for Boise State. We'll have that fire. We can't underestimate it because there's no reason to. So I think we'll have the fight to, to come out our best. Lopini, thanks for the time. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you.